So uh, we'll actually be talking about the leech tank stains repair for inguinal hernia. And um, this is also known as what well, leech tank stains were tension free repair for inguinal hernia. And this is generally known as what well, the gold standard for inguinal hernia repairs. And basically, you make the incision after you are done um, taking out the hernia and everything. Then you cover up with a mesh. Okay. So um, in this, we'll be defining it, talking about the key steps as a procedure, talking about the advantages of this surgery, and um, from there we'll be moving to the, the mesh characteristics, okay? Like the characteristics of the type of mesh that you should use for this type of surgery, okay? Then we'll be moving to the tips and variation. So for the definition, that the leech testing repair is popular surgical uh, technique for inguinal hernia repair and it's named after what dr earring leech testings right so it is a tension free all right mesh based repair that has become a gold standard for hernia repair so you are basically using this um mesh now when you use this mesh this mesh is so strong and it will hold everything back okay what are the key steps can do an incision that is about what, six to eight centimeters is made in the inguinal canal. Dissection the hernia sac is identified and dissected from the surrounding tissues. Mesh placement now. A synthetic mesh is placed over the hernia defect and is overlapping the edges by what two to three centimeters, right? Fixation. Uh, the mesh is secured with sutures or staples to the surrounding tissues, right? So you can see this, right? You see all the sutures at the edge, okay? So you suture it, and it's usually what non-absorbable. Non-absorbable means what? Uh, you don't want the sutures to disappear later, or you want it to hold it in place forever. And even the mesh, even the mesh is non-absorbable, okay? So um. Okay, closure now, the incision, that's after you put the mesh now, you close the layers, all right? What are the advantages? Uh, Tension-free repairs reduces what? Reoccurrence risk. There's minimal invasion with smaller incision. There's quick recovery with less post-operative pain, all right? So you have less complications after the operation. There's a low complication rate and it's suitable for what? most inguinal hernia types, all right? So you can see it and um, okay yeah you guys can just visualize the mesh so what are the mesh characteristics the mesh is in, uh, the mesh could be is yeah the most important one is synthetic one all right made up of what polypropylene or polyester all right the pore size is about one to two millimeters and this is to allow what tissue in groups okay Thickness is about one to two millimeters to provide adequate strength. Tips and variation. Um, use of a mesh block for smaller hernias. Reinforcement with additional sutures or staples. Uh, laparoscopic or robotic assisted what? Listentic what? Repair. That's basically tips and variations like the different types of methods you could use under this what? Listen stains what? Tension free. They could also do a bilateral hyena repair in a single procedure. Both, okay, yeah, yeah. Repair both sides at the same time. So, listening repair is actually a reliable and effective technique for inguinal hyena repair with a low reoccurrence rate. Because you are basically using a mesh, and the mesh is very strong. It will hold everything back for a very long time, okay? So, that's it about the listening things, what? Free repair, you know, high now, right?